Hello everyone, I am Lisbeth and welcome back to episode 5 of Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, where we don't have quite enough hydrogen. But that's okay. Because today, um, we're working on structure matrices, aren't we? No, I did just press the wrong button. Uh, we need to look into technologies. So, we've queued up a bunch of stuff up here. And this is the order of things we're going to get done. We have the drive engine queued up next, actually, because we're going to want titanium. So let's have a quick look here. What are we researching? Deuterium for better power, which I should be able to get up and running by the end of this episode. And we're going to start looking into structure matrices. And that is so we can actually research the deuterium power. Um, so let's... what are we doing first? This one. Well, let's just expand on this whole thing a little bit more, just a teensy bit. That being said, we are not getting enough oil in. Alright, there's one oil seep over there and there's another one over there. Let's... I don't have another one. Let's make another one. We just want one. And we're just gonna... put it right on top of there. Like so. Every game I play has a different rotate hotkey. And we're going to run this down here. Just a little hump over the top there. So it's nice and neat. And then I should just be able to squeeze this in here. like so. Ooh, that was close. Uh, now the only thing we're going to need now is power out to that. But I think we can manage. Um, we're also going to want another two or even four uh, oil refinery things. Hmm, that doesn't quite reach, does it? I do happen to have a spare one of these. Does that give this power? No power. Alright, take two. I cannot get it close enough. Alright. In that case... We can do something like that. Okay, and we're going to need, what did I say, four more refineries? That's two. What are we short on? Oh, brick. Where are we going this way, aren't we? It's been a week or two since I've played. Alright, here we go. This is what I want. Ooh, I see. Well, let's get us one extra. Mm, I am a little shy on power too, aren't I? Can I pinch any? I should be able to pinch some over here, I think. Um, anyway, here's a demonstration of how much quicker this makes things go. You know, having multiple uh, power poles like this. One two, that one's perpetually full, three, and four, and then we can just, oh, perfect timing, 
So we want four more of these on the end. Hmm, that might be a little bit of a tough one. But let's see what we can do. Alright. We're gonna expand this down here for now along with this one and this one okay one two to there that's a little bit close but let's just go for take two one and drag to two Ooh. that collides that would explain a lot two to there oh do I not have enough of these oh I do oh no that's an out And out. Uh, I suppose these will, will need to be extended, but we'll sort that out in a second. So, that one goes into there. We need power, of course. Um, we can probably go one there, and that'll do. And then, We're going to do something like that, and then something like... Hmm. That's a wee bit of a problem now, isn't it? I know what I'm going to do. Up one. And then across to there. Wait. Up one. Am I in the right spot? Up one. Alright, can I make this work? This is the- oh no, that's too tall. Alright, close both of these things. Alright, let's zoom in here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Sorry, this is kinda... Is that two or one high? There. Something like that, and then we can remove that one and that one. Oh, I can. Nice. Good job. And then if I get rid of that one, and I think that one, I should be able to do that. There we go. Now we've got it all. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Oops. Um, let's try that instead. That's better. What have I done? Uh, this one here needs to be hydrogen. And this one here needs to be hydrogen as well. We haven't made the same mistake on the other side yet, no. I suppose it's going to take it in anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Stop two away. 
and down to there. Nice, that's all that sorted out. So now we are accumulating uh, structure matrices. Not structure. Energy matrices. Oh, that doesn't take. Uh, let's do a little switcheroo like this then. Alright, that's that problem solved. Now that we have... Ooh. Yeah, I see. Where's that 200 and where's the... Over this way. Now we can carry a lot more energy which makes this a lot more useful. You know, flying around. You know what? Spit them back out for me. We're gonna do one of those. Alright. That's gonna let us fly. So the next thing we have to do is titanium. Titanium is cooked up much the same way as everything else pretty much. So I'll be back once that's done I guess. Um, because we'll have to do some flying around. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so. You have received the ability to sail. Double click the space key to lift off to enter the flight mode. And keep pressing the forward direction and space keys in the flight mode. And you will enter the sailing mode when you reach a certain altitude. Thank you, nameless, uh, travel agent. So. We're going to fly a little bit more, but I want to get this started first. I need 200 of that. So let's actually just take all of the this stuff that I've made. Is this not working? Take that. Take that one. Take that one. Take that one. And that one. Sorry, I'm, I made a mistake there. But that's okay. Let's just take all of this, we're going to head back over here, uh, now we can, whoop, wrong button, speed up in a second, but we'll sort that out when I get to it. I didn't read what the hotkeys were and it's been a hot second since I uh, played, so, is that all of them? Let's try that. Okay, where did we say we were going? Zooming out. Okay, we need both silicon and titanium long term. So I'd ideally prefer, and that's probably going to be the one I think. Although that's got a lot more titanium. Let's go for Murfact 4. We're going to pin it and we're going to indicate directions to it. Now let's just make sure we've got everything we need. So, what we need... Uh, four? Is that enough? Let's make a, at least a few more. We need iron plates, which I have in abundance right here. Uh, so we need... We'll make another five of those. And then we're going to need smelters, a bunch of them. Uh, is that all we're going to need for now? Ooh, I know what we're working towards long term. So, what we're going to do, we're going to fly there. I'm going to make a couple of these. And then we are going to go and get stuff sorted. So we only have one solar panel right now. We said we're going to Mervac 4. That is the one with... That's the one with bad solar. Let's actually go to Mervac 1 instead. Because that's enough to get us started. And we're going to use solar for power. So what do we need for solar? Silicon, copper, and chips. So we're going to take... A bunch of chips, like that many, a bunch of copper, because I can, and then we're gonna 
get stuff sorted, pretty much. I really want this cleared out so I can empty my inventory, but who cares. Alright, let's also leave behind anything we don't need right now. Um, because, trust me, we want to empty inventory. So, all of them, all of them, all of them. We don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need splitters. We will organize more of these and these. Alright, that's as many of them. So I'm going to let these all cook up and then we'll be back once we're ready to go. Oh, as a side note, we're super close to this being done. So I'm going to also make sure that our uh, research is ticking along nicely. The data shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins. Perhaps you can get some by collecting gravel. If you need a massive titanium collection, you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins as soon as possible. All right, let's just pick up all of these. And we should be just about ready to get started for now. We can also fly a lot higher than we did before. Although I don't think our speed in relation to the ground has changed at this point. Mm. Oh, that's all full, is it? Uh, interesting. Alright, super duper. Let's pop that in the back there so I don't lose it. And now we are going to fly. So, we keep holding spacebar to Sambo, where. You can control the mecha, go to different planets or planetary systems by following the arrows in the space navigation. Hold down the shift key to accelerate, back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the QR keys to hold down the right mouse button, Ooh. dragging to sideward flight. I forgot about that. All right, shift to accelerate. Look how much power that takes. Um, that's why we don't want to miss Murphak here. Um, and we're going to get a good look of our planet on the way back, but that's it right there. It's a... Uh, quite an odd perspective the first couple of times you see these planets sitting like that but that's pretty close to accurate for like what it'd look like I guess it's just very eerie we're not we're not designed for the sorts of bizarre all right let's just speed up a little bit more so we're gonna get there a little bit quicker it also help us against the gravity of the sun all right, landed. Nice, welcome to Murfak 1. Had to double check there. Um, we have lava, we've got titanium, we've got silicon, we've got more titanium, we have iron and... Ooh, boy, good fun. All right. Let's have... Oh, that's only taking the blue ones. Why is that not... Filling. Oh, uh, who cares? Look, we're here for a reason. Um, what I want to see is the solar system. It is not tidally locked. Alright. So what we're going to want to do is figure out this is probably the two these two up here are probably a good spot there's some silicon down here all right we're heading to the north pole it's 
there's one titanium, two titanium. So the reason we're heading up to the North Pole is because it gets more consistent light than anywhere else on the planet. Um, and I did not prepare. I do need to mine some silicon whilst I'm here. So I'll be right back once we're all ready to set the factory up. Oh wow, look at that. There's Murfac 3 and 2 over there, which is where we live. And then off there in the distance is Murfac 4. And of course, Murfac itself, which is quite bright. Alright, so we're up here at the North Pole, which is just over here. Let's quickly see what we can do here. Just to make this a bit nicer. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright. Now we want to put a bunch of solar panels. Do I actually not have solar panels yet? Uh, apparently not. Is this actually the South Pole? Not to judge, but I'd say I am at the North Pole. The red one's the North Pole, surely. Alright. We got three there. And three there. And they all have access to the sun. And I am not preparing anymore. I absolutely am. So that'll get us nine. as soon as it's done. Sorry, I took my microphone away. Hopefully I will remember to fix that in post, but there's also a non-zero chance that I will entirely forget. All right, that's the other two. So now we get to run just down to this titanium over here. One there. One, say there. All right, and that gets us close enough at least to get this started. So we need to do all the standard baby stuff. We're going to gather. Gather. Alright, I think that's enough, and we will process it down here. Can that reach all of them? Oh, it can. Alright. And we're going to process it down this way. Alright, that's all that together. Let's just head over here to make sure it all gets built a little bit quicker. Um, I'm actually probably going to want more, well, we can't make any more, so we'll just have to make do. Uh, now, what might be a better idea? is to actually go this way. So now we want one on each side. We've got 48. We're going to take that many and that many. I'm just going to keep uh, squeezing this out as far as I can. Okay, now we get to go for in and in.
and finally titanium ingots and we're going to copy paste now we get to it's not quite enough there and well we need foundation support for that but I think we can manage something for that nice that's 10 now all we need is a little bit of power and finally uh, storage on the end there so that we can keep this running whilst we're not here and we get ad infinitum oh, no power I have no more let's try that instead nice infinite titanium well until the pile runs out but we're sorted for now all right nice good going so that is titanium checked off the list so now that titanium's done um where does that take us well we researched titanium smelting somewhere here uh oh here it is uh that'll take us to high strength titanium alloy which we are not quite ready for yet but very shortly we will have deuterium fractionating which will uh oh we need orange circuits to do that which are these ones all right so let's queue that one up next then we can queue that one uh, then we can queue oh no I've forgotten what we had this one this one structure matrix then this one all right we are sorted um, we're just missing we're running low on those all right I'm gonna collect up a bunch of these and then we will come back in a little while there's the hundred we've got an even amount now we gotta head home which is over here very nice okay Very good. Tab to lock. Heh. It's a grippy guess on that. Alright, so. Now that we're on our way back home. Speed up a tiny bit more. We didn't run too much out of fuel. A little bit. Enough. Jeez, that gas giant has a very big gravitational pull. I'm actually sort of listing over to the left, um, but it's interfering. I think we're a bit further over this way. Perfect. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> out of power. All right, let us quickly. charge up there we go three and four there that's the stuff all right so now we want to start looking at why we don't have any blue research bits so we get to go this way what's the problem officer Yeah, I'll accept responsibility for that. 
full. Yeah, I suppose. I didn't realise it took from the bottom right rather than the top left. Alright, so that's our research up and running again. Um, let's give it a second and then we're going to be into deuterium fractionating. In fact, because we're going to want to... Uh, you know, research a little bit quicker. No fuel. Well, is that not a little bit rude? Hmm. I suppose that means we need more. Yeah. Alright. more of them. That's that sorted. Uh, then we're gonna need more of these but we have some. We also have... yes. So we've got enough for... oh only three. We need motors for that. That's so, alright, we're pretty close to a point where we'll be automatically producing the sorts of things we need. Plates. Always iron plates. Yeah, I'll be have a little factory to produce those things, so rather than making them myself, I'll be going to a box and just picking stuff up. There we go. Alright, now that's all done, let's actually expand this little bit here for the power, and then get on to something a little more worthwhile. Something like that to there. that to there. Uh, well, then again. And... I can actually have four along there, that's nice. Probably want to remove that one. And I've run out, really? I think that's a lie. that. Let's just give that to one of these. Alright, that should balance itself out eventually. But we are uh, struggling just a little bit for power. I see, I see. Alright. So we'll have to head back and run everything off the other... 
Yeah, this other one. Um, so how we're gonna do that is another one of these. But we're gonna port it straight in. Like so. Basic chemical energy. So what did that unlock for us? Uh, that was the... Plastic. So we got the chemical with the plant? Yeah, I think so. I reckon that'll be it. Alright, let's get to the point where we're making... Well, let's actually come over here and make sure that our power is doing alright. We will get this sorted out. That's good news. As are these. Alright, let's just split a bunch of these in half. So that we can get as many going as possible. There we go. Now we're doing better. Uh, let's just make sure all of these have power. Something like that. Alright. This ought to help out. Okay, now that's all sorted. Let's get back to what we were actually working on. Alright. So now with all of that... Uh, research sort of getting underway. Next up is going to be these processes to make, which needs those blue chips and the green chips. So, let's have a quick look. The blue chips need silicon and copper. The orange chips, when we get to them, will also need something. Uh, but they're going to need silicon and copper. There's copper over here, we could use that. Uh oh. Out of power. Can't believe you've done this to me. Alright, there we go. Stop complaining. And five. There we go. Okay. Now this is draining a lot of power out of the system. I'll show you just how much in a moment. 50% immediately jumps back to nearly 100%. There we go. Yeah, so we definitely need to get the power going next. Uh, which copper did I say I was going to go to? Over here? Possibly. For now, I reckon maybe even this here will be enough. So let's see if I can't... Make a bit of space, you know. Alright, and we're out. Nice. Okie dokie. There's only a tiny bit of copper here, but that's all we need for now. Let me get, you know, all the basics set up. 
We won't even need... Yeah, we won't even need um, a lot for now. We just need to get enough to get uh, interplanetary logistics set up. So this will be enough, even single planet logistics. So I always found um, logistic systems quite complicated, like as far as things went. There we go. And all we need now is power. Um, and I, I always find them quite intimidating, like I kind of suck at modded Minecraft, just because I can never quite get the hang of how these systems should work. Three, four, that one there. I think that's it at least. Yes. Something like that. And then ins and outs. But this game makes it quite uh, uncomplicated. Um, I don't know. I find it much easier to comprehend whilst playing this game than I do most others. In fact, We'll put it on that side, and we're just going to store like so. Huh, oh, is that really not connected? Oh, I see. And these want copper. Nice. Alright, so that's copper sorted. Uh, not that we really need any right this instant, but it's good to have extra. So, what now? Well, we do have to go and mine some silicon and get that a little bit automated as well. So how about we head over to Murfak 1 again and we will get that up and running. Uh, Alright, so, um, all of that said, um, I've absolutely run out of time. <laughs> Sorry, I just did some editing. I was like, oh yeah, I'll come out here whilst it's, you know, thinking about my um, rendering and whatnot. Um, and then come back once it's, you know, done everything. Anyway, um, yeah, I've absolutely run out of time. So thanks everyone for being here. I hope you've had a wonderful time. Can we see anything cool in the sky? No, we can't. That's a shame. Thanks for being here, everyone. I'll catch you in the next one where we're going to continue on with working towards uh, these crystals and then on to these titanium crystals which will allow us to go to structure matrices uh, which would be pretty neato um, and then we can get on to better logistics and then hopefully planetary logistics shortly afterwards so I'll catch you on the next one and in fact I'm going to queue this one up so take care everyone bye